What up, y'all? Welcome back. It's time for another presentation. Been taking it easy the last couple days. So, let's get into it. Universal Music Group, Sony Music Group, and Warner Records. You may not know their connection to private prisons, right? Well, Warner Records, Universal Music Group, and Sony Music Group control around 90% of hip-hop, right? Let me show you the connection. First off, look how private and prison sync up, and that's the most simple cipher and the most pure cipher. Of course, Warner Records... Sony Music Group sync up with Prison at 71 in Gematria. Of course, Universal, Darky, Slave, Negro, all got the 59. We know what that is, right? 59 stamped all over Black History. What day does Black History Month end? The 59th day of the year, right? You got rapper Royce, the 5'9". They say it's because his height, but it's not. It's because 59's all over black history. Look at the English language. Of course, he's signed to Shady Records, right? Under Universal Music Group. Of course, Royce the Five Nine. So, Core Civic, formerly CCA Corrections Corporation of America, and CEO Group own almost all the private prison beds in the USA. So, let me show you how this all comes together. Look how Core Civic syncs up with slavery, right? These prisons. This is just modern day slavery, right? 87, just like Ignatius of Loyola, right? The founder of the Jesuit order. You see how Ignatius of Loyola and private prisons sync up in three out of the four base ciphers. So CCA, rapper, private, prison, incarcerate, all 74 in Gematria. CEO group, right? They said... They're one of the two that own, like, all of the private prisons. 35, like, prison. 35. It's kind of complicated when you read the article, but you see the connections, you see the umbrella, you see everything under the umbrella, right? Kodak Black, right? Scripted out like he went to prison, right? But really, he gets rewarded because you follow him. You act out what he portrays in his music. You go to prison, right? So the companies win. They make money. This actor, Kodak Black, makes money. You're incarcerated, right? That's what they want. Same as Gucci, DMX, rest in peace if you're dead. I mean, you're still a puppet. BlackRock and Vanguard Group, right? They invest in both industries, the music, right? And private prisons. So you see the connection? It says CNN notes that BlackRock has shares in 97.5% of the 100 most valuable companies. Given the vast scope of both groups' holdings, the mere ownership of the two other unrelated stocks is insufficient to prove any connection. Bullshit. We know it's connected, right? 
like Black Rock, 59 and 76, like Slave, Rasta, Negro, Blues, right? There's that 59 again. Don't tell me otherwise. Don't tell me it's not connected. This is the proof right here. Learn Gematria. Is this like their headquarters or whatever? BlackRock. So. Vanguard, right? The other company in on the private prisons. 88 and 34 synced up with Rapper. Now, I'm passionate about this. You know what I mean? Because I was influenced by this music growing up, right? And I fell victim to it. Put two and two together. I suffered the consequences. You know what I mean? So I'm a little bit upset. If I would have been influenced otherwise, you know, I wasn't in that position. No father in the household. You know, no excuses. But come on. The music industry, these labels, they know what they're doing. They target youngsters. They split up the homes. Here they come with the negative influence. That's why all they play is trash, right? The garbage gets pushed. Drugs, violence, hoes, all the bullshit, right? All targeted towards these kids. You see that? Born into the industry. And this is where it leads them. All the people that follow the puppets. Because these are just actors, remember? They're not on our side. So, just wanted to put some of these labels on blast. You know what I mean? Because it needs to happen. They're not going to like this video. But thank you for joining me. Until next time. Have a great day.